Hi, my name is Christina Adams. This is the place where we talk about God, Christianity, and life. Right now I have uh, this book. It's called Letters, but a little bit today. The, uh, the title of it was a little weird to me. I'd never really heard about mystics, and I still don't know that much about them. I do know that there is a bit of a history uh, in Christianity with them. Um, I think like St. John of the Cross or um, uh, St. Teresa of Avila. Uh, they've been called that, or they had things like that. Uh, I also know that it is a little bit controversial. <laughs> I had a uh, professor once who uh, was talking about the topic of spiritual disciplines, and he uh, threw up his hands and said, away with that moderate, uh, with that uh, mysticism. And um, so I was like, oh, I don't know what that word means. And I still kind of really don't, um, especially since uh, the history of it seems to be quite long and, and such. But uh, this particular book was uh, really cool to me. I really enjoyed it. Uh, at, it's basically, it is the diary of Frank Laubach from uh, 1930 to 1931. And it's uh, basically a series of letters that he writes to his dad about this experiment that he wants to do. And he wants to do this experiment with God. And his, his reason is, is that uh, we have, uh, as thinking beings, the ability to think about more than one thing at the same time. And so he said, well, in the Bible, we're, to, we're told to, you know, be, you know, thankful always and pray continually. And how is it possible to even do those things? Uh, and he was he was thinking about that, and and he got into a, uh, well, if I can if I can think about, uh, you know, that person over there and compare them to myself, or if I can think about this meal and uh, remember what it was like the last time I had it, uh, if you can keep those both of those two different things together in your mind at the same time, then it would also be possible to do that with God. And then to take your um, event that's just happening and bring it back to God. And so that's what he decided to do is he decided to try to basically think about God for um, a certain period of minutes every hour. Uh, he even wrote this uh, game, which is at the back of the book called The Game with Minutes, in which you can practice uh, just trying to think of God, setting a timer, um, or you know, just doing things that will remind you to think of God throughout the day so that God is always in our mind. And uh, one of the things he had said is that, well, when you think about something, it doesn't just automatically go away. Sometimes it lingers in your mind or it lingers in the pathways of your brain. And because of that, then it's possible to have thoughts of God and to be praying or to be thinking, um, thinking thoughts to God for a good portion of the day. And so this this book is basically just about his his experience with that, his successes, his failures. That's actually one of the things I like about it is that it doesn't always seem like it's uh, great and uh, like everything is working. He does talk about um, having whole days where where he didn't do what he thought he was going to do, to do or uh, where he was disappointed with his progress. And uh, so it's just, just neat to see uh, someone actually trying uh, to think about God. Uh, one of the other things I also like is that uh, it, it's all about habit and it's about making a habit in your mind that, uh, that you can use to, to uh, grow your relationship with God, which is, is just really cool. So I think that's everything. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think that was everything that I was going to say about it. Uh, but it is it is really neat. Uh, you should check it out, especially if you're interested in uh, w in wanting to to interact with God more in your mind. Uh, oh, and the, one of the neat things about this, too, is that it's something that you can actually do almost anywhere, because no matter what you're doing, what you're doing with your mind is something that you can determine. I was wondering if you have ever had an experience where you felt like God was with you and uh, would you like to try to bring your thoughts back to God more frequently during the day? If it's something that you've actually tried, if it's something that you would like to try, uh, let me know. And um, yeah, I hope it works out. <laughs> All right. God bless. Talk to you later.